Hey YouTube, over on the Carnage Clan channel, what's going on? SwaggySpiel here bringing you guys today another beast gameplay, triple DNA bomb on hardpoint by my man Volts, Carnage Volts, make sure you go check him out in the description below, absolutely tank, he's just, you know, he doesn't have that many, really many subs, so I recommend you guys go over checking out his channel, and if you guys enjoy the commentary, make sure you guys come over and check out my channel as well. Now, anyways, let's get right into the commentary topic. So, we had a meet Carnage meeting, and if you guys did not know, we talked about a lot of different unique things we can bring to this channel. A lot of things that, you know, I know you guys are getting tired of the triple DNA bombs, you know, the double DNA bombs, you know, stuff like that. You guys want unique stuff that can really help you get better at Call of Duty. So, um, Apollo asked me to do a tips and tricks video for you guys. So, I'm going to do one that I did really good over on my personal channel. It's a how to win consistent gunfights in advanced warfare. If you go to the search bar on YouTube and you type in how to win gunfights in AW, my video is probably the first or second one to come up. So I'm going to do this for you guys. It really helped me out to get better. And I did this video two weeks into the game. So I know a lot more knowledge now on how to win consistent gunfights. And a lot of people really want to know this. So first I have off is Master Exo Movements. Now, these can help you so much. Um, I've mastered the double jump, the dashing, the sliding, all that type of stuff. And if once you master those, that's something people struggle with. When they first get the game Advanced Warfare, they struggle to master the Exo Movements. You need to be able to dash, know when to dash out of gunfight, know when to... I actually didn't really know how to, you know, dash backwards. It can help so much, especially to get out of a gunfight or if a guy, if you're, you know, those situations where a gunfight where you hit each other, like you and the opponent like run into each other and then either whoever gets like punches first wins, you can dash backwards out of that. So mastering the exo movements can help you in so many different situations. And number two I have is aiming down sight. Now this has been a big stress to get better at Call of Duty since the beginning of Call of Duty. So I recommend you guys doing this a lot more, um, especially around corners, that's the best thing. Or when you're going into a building, you know, just try to, you know, aim down sight as much as possible. I know a lot of people like to, if you want to run gung-ho so you don't get caught, caught off sprinting, a lot of people like to use that. But aiming down sight around a lot of corners is, can help you win so many gunfights. It's so under, underrated in my opinion. And it has helped me get better at Call of Duty since I started in MW3. Now, number three, which is probably the most important thing in my opinion, is positioning. Now, a lot of people, the reason they lose a lot of gunfights is because they challenge things when they don't need to challenge it. Like, if you chase a guy, when you, you should just leave him alone. A lot of people, that's what I learned. That's probably the biggest thing I learned. Don't chase. Do not chase people. Position yourself so, you, so you're not letting them get the advantage. If you see a guy long range and you have a sub, don't challenge it. You know, flank around. And if you have a long-range bow, don't try to go into a close-quarter gunfight. Um, even the pre-patch bow may have not been in a, a submachine gun up close. So, anyways, number four is map knowledge. Now, what I mean by map knowledge is I don't mean by spawn knowledge. I mean by map knowledge. So, if you know there's buildings and camping spots that a lot of people like to go to, don't go into the spots. Um, try to, you know, if there's a guy on Detroit, you know, in school and there's that window, don't try to go mid-map. I mean, you know there's going to be a guy camping there most likely. So a lot, a lot of times I like to flank around the buildings from the back. You know, positioning is key. And map knowledge, knowing the map around and like like the back of your hand is probably the most important thing in my opinion. Um, knowing where the choke points are. Knowing where the flank spots are. Um, those can really help you win a lot of gunfights in my opinion. So the fifth one is spawn knowledge. Now, I know a lot of people say in Domination there's a lot of crazy spawns and hard point. But in Uplink and a lot of other game modes there's fixed spawns. So I, what I recommend you guys is just, you know, just using the map, the mini map as a, like a guide to know where they're spawning at. If your team's in one area, you know the other team's going to be spawning where your teammates are not at. And so I recommend you guys, you know, just learning the spawns. That's how you, uh, Pub Somber can, you know, elevate his game from a single DNA bomb to a triple DNA bomb in the beginning of Advanced Warfare. So a lot of these things can be done, and I recommend you guys using these things to get better at consistent gunfights and how to win it more and to go on those high streaks, to go on those high DNA bomb streaks, the high kill streaks. And this is what I use to get better at Advanced Warfare, and I mastered it, and I'm actually doing pretty good in my opinion. So if you guys definitely enjoyed these tips and tricks videos, let me know in the comment section below. Um, let, let Carnage know that you guys enjoy these and you want more of these instead of just a regular old commentary about you know triple dna bomb so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below leave a like on this video let's get the video to 400 likes for a tips and tricks video if you guys enjoyed the gameplay triple dna bomb make sure you go subscribe to carnage volts um absolute tank in my opinion he's a really good guy um just started off youtube seems had about 300 subs so go help him out give him like 300 subs um say say carnage sent you and if you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks video and like live commentaries come over and check out my channel i'll talk to you guys later stay humble stay blessed hope you guys have a great day and an amazing week i'll see you guys later peace out Woo.